Welcome back to the Double M Farm. Well, there is good news and there is bad news about the Harbor Freight Trencher Backhoe. What should we start with first? Let's, let's get the bad news out of the way. According to several people I've talked with, the Harbor Freight people have experienced a spike in sales of their towable trencher backhoe. I'm going to take credit for some of that. <laughs> no. they uh, Apparently, these things have really gotten popular. Maybe it's because people are in quarantine and got a lot of time on their hands and want to do some work around their places. But for whatever reason, uh, at the time that uh, this video is being made, and this is June the 20... Oh, Lord, what is it? 26, I believe. I think it's June 26. I forgot to look before I started filming. Uh so at this time, uh, 2020, June 26, 2020, uh, and at this point in time, Harbor Freight has their towable trencher backhoe on back order. I've talked to a couple of people who have watched some of my videos about the trencher, and their delivery dates have been moved out as much as 60 days uh, because they're having a hard time keeping them in stock. I don't know if some of the sanctions that we have put on China because of the COVID mess has has anything to do with it. Um, I have ordered some things that I think came from China, um, and uh, and I'm an American. I want to buy American as much as anybody. Sometimes there's something you need, and you have very little choice. Uh, but anyhow, um, stuff I've ordered came, and I know of at least one when I was tracking it. It actually was a little electronic part. And it actually came from China with no problem. So I'm not sure if any of the restrictions have anything to do with it or if it's just the sales, the demand has uh, been more than they expected. And uh, so that's the bad news. If you're considering ordering one, you may want to give them a call. Uh, you can pull up the www.harborfreight.com. Type in on the search bar trencher and it'll come right up. And uh, there's a phone number there you can call to uh, discuss the availability and how long it would take to get one shipped in. So I hate that for quite a few of uh, folks that have been keeping up with Little Red here and, and have told me that they're ordering one. And at least two of them have told me that uh, they're on back order. I think one of, one gentleman has already canceled his order, and I really hate that. Um, but maybe it'll turn around. Maybe they'll get a big shipment of them in and, and things will speed back up. So that's the bad news. We got that out of the way. Now let's talk some good news. If you've watched any videos uh, other than mine, in addition to mine on YouTube, you know there have been a lot of concerns about uh, pivot pins and, and different grease pins and fittings breaking and not being able to get replacement parts. Well, again, if you'll go on that same page I just talked about on their website, you'll see right by the phone number a little icon you can click on that gives a list of available replacement parts, and they update it as different parts become available or sell out. And again, at the time that I'm filming this, we have good news on quite a few things that I know people in the past have been uh, concerned about. And the biggest one, I think, that a lot of people have actually told me that they're hesitant to buy one of these because of their concern based on previous videos they've seen. What I would point out is many of those videos were correct at the time they were filmed. And some of them were as much as four and five years old. And at that time, these parts were not available. I know one gentleman that had to go to a machine shop and get parts uh, fabricated for him. But the main pivot pin, which is, for those who don't know, that's the top of it right there. goes all the way down to the bottom. And basically, every bit of the weight of the boom and dipper and bucket is riding on that pivot pin that goes right through this housing right here. It goes straight up and down. There have been some people who have experienced a failure there. I have different, all sorts of different of uh, uh, theories on that that may have contributed to it. Mine is now two, uh, almost two years old, and uh, my pivot pin is still in perfect condition. Not bragging, just stating fact. But as of today, well, actually last night when I pulled it up and looked, 
The pivot pin is in stock and available for only $24. You can't go to a machine shop and get that booger made for $24. So there's some good news. And a lot of the clevis pins, which are the, uh, let's see if I can <laughs> figure out, I'm on the back side, but the pins over here, these pins, greasable pins, several of them are now available. Uh, there's one there, down at the bottom, the big one down there, I know it's available. And those things, they vary in price, depending on the size, some of them are longer than others. And let's see, when I pulled them up last night, the pins varied in price from $10.32 up to $20.86. So, uh, not bad. Um, and uh, it's nice to know they're available. And there will be more things available. And I'm sure some things, the availability will drop as they sell. Uh, but pretty much the main parts that you may need are right now available. So if you break anything, you can get a complete axle and hub assembly like I have there for $63.76. Here's a weird one. The outriggers are available. And they are different. Now, the, the straight part with the big foot on them, this part is the same. They're interchangeable from side to side. But this part, the upper part, is different. There is a right and a left because of the angle of this piece to get that leg to stick out at the proper angle. So there is a right and a left on those. And it didn't specify that the long piece and the upper piece were separate, so I'm assuming they come together. But here's the weird part. The left leg lists for $51.45. The right leg lists for $81.15. $30 higher. And other than the angle, they're the exact same thing. So don't ask me to explain that. I'm just reporting what I have found out. Uh, cylinders, hydraulic cylinders, are available for $120.62. Uh, the filter for the hydraulic fluid is available for $27.32. But if you'll do a search for that on YouTube, I should have pulled it up and I forgot to. You can get that filter from Napa. It's the exact same filter that I believe, if my memory serves me correct, it's for a Mercedes. If you do a search on YouTube for the hydraulic filter, there's a gentleman who owns one of these who uh, posted a brief video, very good video, about replacing that filter with one from Napa. He found the correct one. And uh, so that's uh, good to know. Let's see, was there any other ones? A cylinder, um, oh, the control valve assembly. This entire assembly is available. All of the control valves that the hoses, hydraulic hoses hook to, that is available right now for $276.05. And then just about anything to do with the Predator engine is available pretty much all the time. The hydraulic pump that you see right there sticking out of the side of the engine, that is available for $155.96. So, uh, again, you can go on Harbor Freight website, type in Trencher in the search, and if you look on the page that the Trencher is on, you'll see the uh, little icon that you can click on to show you what parts are available. So, there it is. That's the good news. The bad news is, if you're thinking about ordering one, you better call them because they are in high demand right now, apparently and short supply. So I'm sure Harbor Freight is trying their best because they, I'm sure they want to make money. So hopefully they're trying their best to, uh, to get more in stock and uh, have them available. So that's the bad news and the good news. And just an update on the Harbor Freight trencher backhoe and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. So Thank you for visiting us here on the Double M Farm, and we'll talk to you again real soon.